Unfriended is a 2015 horror film that I just got back from a screening for. And the reason why I'm sort of laughing before I even get to this review is because I admit, when I saw the trailer for this movie, hell, before that, I remember first seeing a poster for this movie. And all the poster was is a picture of a girl screaming and it just says unfriended on it. And I thought it was a joke. I thought it was somebody who made their own poster. Like, oh, how dumb would this be? And then I realized it was real because then the trailer hit. And when you watch the trailer, I'm sure many of you have, have seen the trailer, it looks stupid, right? It just, it looks like it's going to be one of the worst movies, if not the worst movie of 2015. Having watched the movie, though, let me talk about the plot. The plot, the trailer pretty much tells you everything that goes on in this movie as far as the plot. A year ago, there was this girl, Laura Barnes, who committed suicide because uh, she got drunk one night really bad and people recorded videos of her acting stupid, passed out, and just the most embarrassing stuff. They got posted on YouTube, and everybody trashed her for it, told her she should kill herself, so she did just that. A year later, we see this group of friends, five or six people. They're on Skype. They're just bullshitting, talking, until this mysterious account shows up in the chat, and they can't figure out who it is or how to get rid of them, until this person starts to talk to them, and until they figure out that it's this Laura's account. So they're like, all right, until they start getting killed one by one through the computer. Now, what I thought of Unfriended was, surprisingly, shockingly, this wasn't awful. It wasn't. It wasn't the biggest steaming stinking pile of dog shit that I was fully expecting this to be. I just thought this would be a disgrace to films, to horror films. But let me talk about the positive things, I guess. First things first, I guess I can say that these kids, these actors, I don't know anything about them. I've never seen any of them before. I try to literally type in and Google search this movie on my phone on the way back and it just wouldn't work for some reason. I don't, I don't know. Which is kind of weird when I think about it because in the movie there's so many times where they're trying to like get something to work on the computer or play a video or download something or do this or even get off of the thing and it won't work. It can't do it. So yeah, that, that, that really makes you think good things about technology. But <laughs> either way, uh, these actors, I thought, were good. They, they weren't bad. You kind of bought them in the situation. The moments when they're scared, freaking out, or there's a moment where this anonymous person is making them play the Have I Ever, Never Have I Ever game. And I won't say any more than that, but that's probably the best part of the movie. Also, I didn't really find this movie all that scary. Uh, there were people in the theater, people next to me, girls next to me. This is like the perfect movie to bring a girl to because they, they get scared at everything. No offense if you're a chick and you're watching this review and you're offended by that, but it's fucking true. Like, nothing could happen on screen. Nothing. It could just be a loud noise or the camera can fall down and they'll get freaked out. Or they'll jump, and I'll just be sitting there like, wow, that worked? Okay. So none of that I really found scary. There might have been one or two creepy moments, just as far as the not knowing what was going to happen. But I found this more funny, more just, like, fun to watch. Because none of these characters, as good as their acting is, I didn't care about them, really. And I don't think you're supposed to. They all have secrets. They all have something bad that they're keeping from their friends. And not only that, they were all taking part in bullying this girl who killed herself. So, I mean, I'm not saying they deserve to die, of course, but it's it's a real interesting, uh, I don't want to say commentary, because it's, not, it's nothing deep. It's not like it's trying to say something about 
online bullying or anything like that. It's it's a horror movie. It's a straightforward horror movie. I will say too that uh, this is going to sound worse than than it, than it is, but the whole movie is in the point of view of the computer, in a sense. Which I mean, we've seen found footage movies, right? We've seen a shit ton of found footage horror movies. But this is like, this is kind of interesting. Something I, I've never seen before where it's literally you see uh, the home screen of this girl's laptop. And then of course you see all of the open screens to the Skype conversation that they're having. And then you see all of the other links and all the other websites as she pulls it up. And that's kind of also how they tell the story. Like, it was different. It was interesting. I admit when they inevitably make unfriended part nine it's going to get old fast there's not a whole lot you can do with this but for this first movie it was different it was interesting so i guess i have to give them credit for that uh really my only complaints is that the ending is kind of weak and lame which i mean it's been forever since i've seen a horror movie nowadays that has a satisfying ending but honestly besides that i my rating for Unfriended, shockingly enough, I even thought about giving this a matinee just due to my surprise level of not hating this. But instead, I'm going to give it a rental. It deserves it. a high rental, a very high rental. And trust me, believe me, that is saying something. <laughs> it's not a bad movie, really, at all. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments below if you have any interest in checking out Unfriended. I mean, that just, that title sounds god-awful. I know. I'm shocked. Like, comment, subscribe. Later.